Okay, internet, we have been duped. So the viral McDonald's baby mama, ghetto baby mama, actually was a skit. It comes from a skit channel. Um, and her channel is right here, Elise McGlaston, Elise McGlaston. But it looks like um, she does a variety of skits that is based around fake children or something like that. I don't, or if they're really her kids. I don't know. It just seems like ghetto pwn, I'm going to say, if you get the word, rhymes with horn, um, which, you know, will go viral. People will get a, a kick out of watching ghetto mess. And so it looks like this is what she's doing. Now, I do skits, um, haven't done one in a long time, so I know how to play it, but there is nothing about this that looks like a skit. There's one thing to do a skit and you appear as an actor wearing wigs or doing kind of crazy stuff in order to show that it's a skit, but more and more I'm seeing people trying to capitalize off of ghetto, ghetto horn. Um, and that's what I call it because it's just a way to get attention, um, you know, for randomness, but it's, I, I, let's go through and look at a couple of her videos. Actually, before we go and look at her videos, I still want to do a response based on, I, I just want to go through the actual response because even though this is a skit, please trust and believe this actually happens in real life that there are women who think like this, this comes from somewhere. This isn't just make believe. But let's get into, um, we're going to look at Fat Joe responded to her, holding her accountable, this fictional mother or any real mothers who are behaving this way. We'll look at some responses and then we'll come back to her channel and take a look. Different baby fathers. At least we know of two. You know, the girl, she got a McDonald's. She did. The girl, she got four kids. <laughs> Different baby fathers. At least we know of two different baby fathers. Could be more because it's four kids. And so the brother, he got a son with her. He comes, he brings a McDonald's every day. Being a real father, they broke up. They separated. The man goes. He brings uh, McDonald's for his son. And the mother says, hey, don't come over here with McDonald's for him when I got three other kids. You need to bring McDonald's for them. And so the man says, listen, man, I made this boy with you. <laughs> this, uh, this is my son with you. And I bring my son food every day like a real father. Those other three kids aren't my kids. And so when you're looking at it, you say, man, this is all wrong. And where are the fathers to the other three kids? That's the... They need to bring more than McDonald's. Uh, it's not his responsibility, bro. It's not his responsibility. Today, the woman put up a, a post. She had her hair did, her makeup, a movie. She, I mean, she didn't have to do her hair and makeup and just buy the McDonald's. Right? But then... Uh, I understood, you know, that's why some people got to speak up for themselves. Because I understood what she was trying to say. She was like, you know, when he was with me, those was his stepkids, and he was buying them all McDonald's. And since I broke up with them, she, uh, 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 he just only gives his kid. So now my kids feel neglected, and it's pretty petty. And she got a point. It's pretty petty. It, it, it is petty, right? Um, But... This shit is crazy, man. And somebody grab this uh, sister and tell her, sit this one down. Because I don't see no good look out of this. Right? Something I've seen and I've been seeing lately is who authorized these kids to wear Adidas tracksuits with Air Force, Nike Air Force, or Jordans. Now, Joe, you're getting old, you just don't understand. Yo, you don't, bro, I wanna know, Oscar the Rasta, I wanna know who authorized these young boys 
to wear Adidas suits with Nike sneakers. Y'all, what did he start talking about at the end about Nike and all these other things? I really, <clears throat> I think he was trying to hold her accountable. So I'm going to say he was holding her accountable, but it felt like he was playing politics a little bit, like saying he could see how it's petty that he's not bringing the other kids McDonald's anymore when we're together. All right, so by that definition, should every time you break up with a woman, whatever y'all were doing in that relationship, you're still responsible and obligated to do. Isn't that what Blue Jasmine got famous for? Because she was saying he let her live in his place before they broke up. So therefore, uh, you know what? She, he should keep paying for it. Like, would he feel the same way if his ex-wife or woman he used to deal with says, you're still responsible for my whole life, even though we're not together anymore? I think he missed the mark on that. And what was the Adidas? Did the dude have on a Nike and Adidas? Tra I don't, I don't understand none of that. I, I, I'm, I just, that went way above my head. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe this is some, uh, y'all just tell me. But again, he was playing politics and uh, you know, uh, I, I wish he had just went in and really told the truth about it. There is no pettiness in him by bringing his kid McDonald's. Like, that's just the way it is. Like, it's just, I, I, when are we going to stop uh, uh, placating and, and, and really pedestalizing a woman and, and finding excuses for this type of behavior? Although we now know it's fake and it was a skit. But it's a shame because I really, I like Fat Joe, I really do. But I feel like on this one, he missed the mark uh, completely on it. But let's go ahead and look at some of the, um, again, we'll come back to her channel. But I want to just read a couple of comments of what people had to say um, on the Instagram post that I originally uh, found this on. All right, so here is, so the first comment on this, it says, how dare he? He needs to not only bring all the kids food, but he should also pay all their tuition, tattoo all of the, all of their names on his forearm. He should legally adopt them and buy them all cars when they turn 16. If he don't treat all her kids like this, like his, like his own, then he don't truly love his child. Obviously, sarcasm. Well, let's continue. He's your baby daddy, not your husband. Let that man take care of his child and stop feeling entitled. Yes. There we go. She is entitled. The internet has has said it. <laughs> so where where their ba where their daddy's at? It would be nice, but n they're not his responsibility. And I want people say stop saying it would be nice because it's almost like implying that he's not nice, that he's just taking care of responsibility, but he's not nice. Um, I don't like that kind of tone about it. I feel as though that's reading a little bit wrong, but I get the point. Um, his obligation is his child. Them other ones on you, sis, LOL. He ha only have one kid with you, sis. It's your responsibility to make sure the others eat. She's got hella quiet. She got hella quiet when he asked where their daddy's at. Take care of your own. Perfect evidence for family court. Get your kid out of that environment if she can't feed them all. First of all, she weak as H for posting this to bat to bash him when he didn't do anything wrong. Secondly, people are saying he should have brought meals for all her kids and that's blasphemous. He is not obligated to do so. Thirdly, somebody at her. Well, I'm adding her. Um, so again, it's fake. So we can kind of dial down the anger towards her. Um, it's ghetto horn as I called it. So <laughs> this brother brings his child lunch every day and it's a problem. Lisa a bum. Okay. Is her name Lisa? No, I don't think it is. I think Eliza, maybe, maybe she's called Lisa a bum. Shouldn't have had all them kids. You can't feed, have their fathers bring them some food. Um, sis, and this is Mrs. Mommy therapist. So this is a woman, a mom who's a therapist. Um, sis, I hope she played this back and listened to herself. Those other kids are not his responsibility. Then this one person put, she mad at the wrong baby daddy. So we're seeing this, you know, she did watch it back. She did do it, but again, it's a skit, but she still was kind of, you know, she still was defending herself. Um, what I'm curious about is to see if this actually helped her channel grow in any way. Let's take a look, you know, I, I guess it went viral on the internet, but I don't know how many subscribers she got from doing this. And I don't know if she's mostly on TikTok 
I'm assuming so because this seems like a TikTok type of thing, but let's go back in um, and look at her channel. All right, so different types of baby mamas. Let's look at this skit she has right here. You got a girlfriend? <laughs> Child support. Oh, so you moved on. You talking to other bitches, child support. Nope, you can't see him, and you can't see his son, so don't ask. Since you want to talk to other bitches, if you're talking to other bitches, you're not getting my son, period. I'm going to just put you on child support because you want to play with me. Like, you just had a bitch over there the other day. Stop lying. Did you have a bitch over there the other day or not? Did you're lying you know what no you're not getting him today no you're not getting your son because you want to be a liar you stay wanting to get him but don't never want to give me no money though okay so she's actually i think trying to call out bad behavior so we tried to cancel her but i actually think she's showing the toxicity in these baby mama baby daddy relationships so i think i'm actually going to do a video just on this specific video or her her actual TikTok and her or her YouTube channel. Um, from the looks of it, I think she has like 4,000 subscribers, so I don't think it helped her channel grow. But if she is trying to do good by pointing out bad behavior, we may have to reverse reverse Uno again and actually maybe support her. I don't I I don't know. I this is I feel like I'm in some weird baby mama baby daddy matrix. It's, it's just this is just nuts, guys. But anyway, leave a comment. Uh, tell me what you think about this, what Fat Joe's response that was, uh, Joe, what were you talking about, baby? I didn't understand. But and then also finding out that this is fake and also the fact that she's actually trying to expose the toxicity. But we'll explore this more in another video. Um, subscribe as well. Give this video a like. Share it, please, for someone you think needs to hear this. And I'll see you in the next one.